Here's five interesting facts about the famous outlaw, Billy the Kid. Billy's first run-in with the law came in 1875, when he assisted a local street thug known as Sombrero Jack in stealing clothes from a Chinese laundry. He hid the loot in his boarding house, but was arrested after his landlord turned him into the sheriff. The crime only carried a minor sentence, but rather than face punishment, the wiry youth escaped the jailhouse by shimmying up a chimney. McCarty then fled town and embarked on a career as a roving ranch hand, gambler, and gang member. He became handy with a Winchester rifle and a Colt revolver, and in August 1877, he killed his first man during a dispute in an Arizona saloon. That same year, he adopted the alias William Bonney and became known as Billy the Kid. The Kid was known for his easygoing personality, but he wasn't afraid to draw his six-shooter when provoked. In a four-year span between 1877 and 1881, the baby-faced outlaw was involved in the shooting deaths of some nine men, at least four of whom he killed single-handedly. One particularly legendary gunfight unfolded in January 1880 at a New Mexico saloon. As the story goes, a drunk named Joe Grant was terrorizing the bar's patrons and threatening to kill someone before the night was out. Sensing trouble, the kid casually approached Grant and remarked, that's a mighty nice looking six shooter you got. He then slipped Grant's gun out of its holster, spun its cylinder so that its next shot would be an empty chamber and handed it back. It proved to be a wise move. Later that evening, Grant pulled the same pistol on the kid and tried to shoot him in the back. When it didn't fire, the kid drew his own gun and shot Grant dead. Unlike other Old West outlaws such as Jesse James, Cole Younger, and Butch Cassidy, Billy the Kid didn't make his living as a bandit. The young gunslinger stole the occasional horse, but he never once held up a bank, train, or a stagecoach. Outside of his gunfighting days with the Regulators, his main criminal enterprise was rustling cattle on the New Mexico Plains. He earned his reputation as a gunslinger in 1878 when he participated in a bloody frontier war in Lincoln County, New Mexico. The conflict centered on a business rivalry between British rancher John Tunstall and a pair of Irish tycoons named James Dolan and Lawrence Murphy. Their outfit was known as the House and had long held a monopoly over the dry goods and cattle trades in Lincoln County. When they tried to intimidate Tunstall's upstart operation, the Englishman enlisted the kid and several other gunmen to protect his property. The tensions finally boiled over in February 1878, when the British Tunstall was murdered by a posse organized by Sheriff William Brady, a supporter of the house. Following Tunstall's death, the kid and several other former employees organized themselves into a vigilante group, which they called the Regulators. In what became known as the Lincoln County War, the Regulators assassinated Sheriff Brady and spent the next several months shooting it out with the House's forces. In July 1878, the feud reached its climax with a deadly five-day firefight in the town of Lincoln, after which the Regulators disbanded and the two sides sealed a flimsy peace agreement. The kid left the war with a reputation as one of the West's most skilled gunmen, but he remained wanted for the murder of Sheriff Brady. He would spend the rest of his life on the run.
Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you found some value. Be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss the next video. And if you want, feel free to share this to your Facebook or Reddit page. Have a great day.